let me pray with you. I decree and I declare that you are above the traditions of men. That you hold the word of God above the traditions of men. I decree and I declare that you will not fail in this life. Whether it be an attack on your life, whether it be an addiction, whether it be a struggle, whether it be a challenge, whether it be a trial and a temptation, I have news for you that you have overcome by Christ to strengthen you. Greater is he which is in you than he that is in the world. And he that began a good work in you, he shall see to accomplishment to the day of Christ. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the beginning and the end. He is your Alpha and your Omega. He is your Nisi, your Shama, your Rohi, your Sidukenu. He is your everything and he shall sustain you until the end. He shall hold you up on that day. He will deliver you from anything that you're struggling from. You walk out of any weakness. You walk out of any trouble. You walk out of any hate. You walk out of any disease. You walk out of any distress, any disasperation, any stress, any struggle. I decree and I declare that your body is submitted to the word of God. Your mind is submitted to the word of God. Your soul is submitted to the word of God. You're walking righteous. Inheritance is yours. The promise is yours. Glory is yours. Love is yours. Victory is yours. Understanding is yours. And your end shall be greater than your past. Don't doubt it. I always tell people that the voice of God is expensive. When God starts to speak to you and you hear him the right way, certain things start changing around you that give the proof that you hear God. Somebody say, I'm increasing. I'm multiplying in everything I do. The language of the spirit is increasing in my life. I speak like a spiritual man. I walk like a spiritual man. I function like a spiritual man. I interpret like a spiritual man. I receive like a man of the spirit. Maturity is my portion and I grow higher and higher and higher and higher in the wisdom of God as the consolation of the spirit works in me the thing on my life has to increase the thing on my life has to multiply there is no way I can be taken away from cause I have the wisdom of God and the wisdom of God works in my life in every aspect of life and that is why now I'm prophesying in the wisdom of God that may people notice your increase May people notice your multiplication in the mighty name of Jesus. May the spirit of multiplication and increase settle on you permanently. People will look at you and say, that woman, every year we see her, there's something increasing on her life. These words will be said about you. That man, every year, there's something increasing on his life. And even in the worst possible times, he's still increasing upward and upward only. Even when the nation is dry, he still has water and rain. When there is no seed, he still has extra. On the dry places, his land is maturing and bringing forth seed. On the wells that are dry, he's bringing forth what? I decree upon your life that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. And everything that pertains to life and godliness is yours through the knowledge of him that has called you to glory and virtue. I decree that the days ahead of you are glorious. Your children are blessed. Your marriage is blessed. Your body is healthy. Your businesses will run. Your ministry will flourish. Your eyes will perceive. Your ears will hear. I speak in the mighty name of Jesus that whatever was broken, God made whole. You don't have a story of brokenness. You don't have a story of doubt. The faith of Christ is inside you. It illuminates your soul and comes out of you to heal the sick, to cleanse the leper, to raise the dead, to do great, to do things. No eye has seen, ear has heard. No enter the hearts of men. Your coming week is a success. Your coming months ahead are a success. The worst has already happened. The best is yet to come. Hope in the Lord. Your expectation shall not be cut short because God put it inside you. Great things await you. You are a mighty man of God. You a mighty woman of God. Regardless of what has happened in your life in the past. Forget the old. Now behold the new. You're more than a conqueror. By Christ who strengthens you. This is what kill you. That weakness won't kill you. Poverty won't kill you. Nothing shall separate you from the love of God. Which is in Christ. He that began that good work in you. He will see it to accomplishment. To the day of Christ. We speak to whatever looks like it's not moving. And we decree that let it move. This week is going to smile on you. The coming month is going to be smiling at you. The end of there is going to be beautiful. And God is going to multiply the glory upon your life more than you have had these previous months. 
prayer for you. It's a year that is going to amaze you. It's going to shock those that know you. It is shining brighter than they asked before. Men are going to look for you. People are going to seek you. The things that have invited you are going to respond in the mighty name of Jesus. Nations are going to shake to your favor. The scales of life to your advantage. Your coming years are good. Your marriage is good. Your children are good. Your health is good. Your finances are good. Your going in is good. Your coming out is good. Your dwelling is good. Your meditation is good. Your prayer is good. Your ministry is good. Your children are good. Your thoughts are good. Your meditations are good. Your heart thoughts are good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your ways are good. They are pleasant to the Lord. Favor is yours. Glory upon glory. Grace upon grace. You will not fail. You can't fail. When economies are going down, you will go up. When there is a casting down, there will be a rising up for you. In the name of Jesus, the ears of men are attending to you. The media of this world is kind to you. In Jesus' mighty name, you are anointed. You are highly favored. You are glorified. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which you dare to ask or think according to the working power that works in you mightily. You said we shall lend nations and have no need of borrowing. We refuse the spirit of poverty on our land. Most so on every name that professes the name of Jesus. We refuse to be mean men. Average Christians, may God give you enough to feed the widow. May God give you enough to feed the orphans. May money never have a control over you. May it answer you for the greater good of preaching the gospel and the expansion of the kingdom of God. May God be the alpha and the omega of your finances. May he surprise you. May he put you in a place where things will break for you. May you see supernatural financial deliverance, independence. May you be independent on men and entirely dependent on God. May the lines fall in pleasant places. May you have a goodly heritage. Be blessed going in and going out. You shall build houses and live therein. You shall plant vineyards and eat thereof. May God bless you more than your nation. May God bless you until the continent can't hold you. May God bless you until your home area can't hold you. May God bless you until your family, your relations cannot hold you. May the blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow rest on you. May you not struggle. May we also, God, build things that the world will admire. May men fly in to see the beauty and majesty of things that are built by the hand of the sons and daughters of God. May our children own the biggest conglomerates of this world. May they own the biggest businesses, the biggest hospitals and schools. Let them go into their hands, God, because through that we can preach the gospel.